Hello out there, I am Jason from How to RV, and today I wanted to take you over something that we just happened to us with leveling our RV. So we got up this morning and we noticed there's a lot more sway in the camper, or at least side to side, than we normally have. It's not very stable. And because of that, I went outside to check our stabilizers to see what was going on. And I noticed that on the side that the door is, so on ours, it's the side that's not the slide out, it's the one where the door you go in. Anyway, those two stabilizers on that side were about this far off the ground. They weren't touching anymore. Now, I know I set them up right when we came in, but they were no longer there. So what has happened is this side of the RV, the slide out side, has sunk on the ground a little bit, causing the trailer to tilt some. So I pulled up my app to look to see where my level was and I noticed that the camper was off level about an inch. But being off an inch is not really the problem that we're having. The real problem is that all the pressure is on the stabilizers on this side of the RV and not on the other side. So it's not equally distributed. If you've been to this channel before, you've seen the video that I talked about the stabilizers and the fact that they shouldn't be carrying all the weight of the RV. If you haven't seen that video, go look at that. Anyway, the RV should not have all of its pressure on the stabilizers on one side of your RV or any of the stabilizers really at that fact. So naturally, the wife and I have the conversation this morning saying, should we take the RV and move everything and get it re-leveled or should we leave it as is? So that leads me to another thing. If you ever have a gut feeling that something isn't right, then go ahead and go fix it. Don't cut yourself short. This morning, I wanted to cut myself short. I wanted to just leave it as is because I got to disconnect everything, hook it back up to the truck, move it around, try to get it re-leveled so that the pressure is distributed correctly. To remedy our problem, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get everything inside of the RV kind of settled. We have to put things in the sinks or in couches or in the beds, just to keep it safe so we can move it. That's what we'll do. Here's something I'm gonna try to do to see if it works out for us, is we're not gonna disconnect our sewer hose or water hose and our electric and all that stuff. All I wanna do is get it off of the levelers, try to put something underneath the leveler so we can bring it up just a little bit higher and then get it all nice and leveled from there. So hopefully that'll work without having to disconnect everything on the outside. Well, that worked out really well. We took the boards, put them under the levelers, gave us a little extra height, and by putting the boards underneath, it gave a bigger footprint on the ground, so hopefully it won't sink as much. As you can see here in the ground, you can see the indentions where the levelers were starting to push down on the ground and starting to sink some, so it was probably a good thing that we went ahead and did this. So a couple of things to keep in mind when you go on your trips. Have some boards ready. Ours are two by 12s. We have them cut down so that we can use them in cases like this. We also have some boards in the back of the truck just in case you never know another thing to keep in mind is safety first so in this case my wife stayed back as we were doing this just to make sure so that everybody is safe so if something happens then you're out of harm's way or out of the line of fire all right i'm glad everything worked out really well for us so i'm gonna go ahead get the rest of the camper put back together get the stabilizers back down and get everything back to where it was so that we can finish the rest of our camping trip but if you have any questions about what we just did today then please leave leave those down in the comments below. You can also shoot me an email if you want. And if you've ever had anything like this happen to you and you had to readjust, please leave down in the comments how you did that or what the situation was that you were in when you did that. That way, if others are reading the comments, they can learn something from you as well. So until the next time, keep your camper level, enjoy your trips, stay safe, and God bless.